What is up everyone? Today we will be doing the 2 Mega Pops Challenge and that is where you complete a game of chimps with more than 2 million damage dealt by one tower. So to start off we are going to place a Monkey Buccaneer in the bottom left of the pool and upgrade it into a 2-1-0 starting with Grape Shot. So our Buccaneer has been a 2-1-0 for a little bit and we are going to save up until we have about 1800 cash. Then we are going to place a Submarine down just to the right of the Buccaneer and upgrade this guy into a 3-0-0 so it can reveal Camo Balloons. Then we are going to go back to our Buccaneer and get it up into a 3-2-0. So now that we have upgraded the Buccaneer I decided to go back and upgrade our Sub into a 3-0-2 just so I could get the extra scan speed as some Camo Balloons got passed once and I got a little afraid. So just to make sure that no camo balloons would leak on you guys, I decided to just upgrade the sub into a 302. But next up, we are going to place down an alchemist and get this guy into a 402. Next up, we are going to place down a monkey village up into the left of the monkey buccaneer, and we are going to get this guy into a 220, so that our buccaneer will have increased attack speed as well as being able to see camo balloons and not having to rely on the submarine to reveal them. Then we are going to go back to our buccaneer and get it all the way up into a 520 carrier flagship. So in round 62, we finally have enough to upgrade our Buccaneer into a 520, and now we are going to save up for another hefty purchase of Perma Brew for our Alchemist. We're going to get this guy into a 502, so we can permanently buff our Monkey Buccaneer to carry us through the rest of the run. So we got Perma Brew right before round 90, so we will be able to handle the DDTs heading our way shortly. But next up, we are going to place down two Glue Gunners and get them both to 0-1-3s and set their targeting priority to strong, and this will really slow down all the mob class balloons heading our way. And I am going to show the final 10 rounds for you guys, as I do start to use some abilities, and I don't want there to be any confusion on how I wrapped this run up. So after both of our glue gunners are 0-1-3s, we are going to place down an engineer in the very bottom right of the track so it won't pop any balloons. Probably not necessary as our buccaneer should hit 2 million pretty easily, but we are going to upgrade this engineer into a 0-4-0 so we can start overclocking our buccaneer. So here we are finally able to purchase the overclock ability and if you see me use this throughout the run it is always going to be on the monkey buccaneer so make sure you use it when I do. But after this we are going to upgrade our monkey village into a 420 so our glue gunners have extra range and attack speed. We are going to upgrade both of the glue gunners into 024s. Not necessary at all but I just wanted to make sure that everything got glued up and slowed down so that our buccaneer had just that much more time to pop the balloons. So from here on out, I did use the overclock ability basically every time it was up and I always used it on the Monkey Buccaneer just so that we are able to handle all of the balloons heading our way as it does get a little tough for rounds 98 and 99. So if you see me using the overclock ability, it is on the Buccaneer like I've said before. But that is all I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm really trying to branch out and do some achievements and not only just guides, so please let me know if you want to see more guides from me or if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, but any feedback is greatly appreciated. But there you guys go, we got just over 2 million pops on our Monkey Buccaneer. I hope this helped you guys out with getting this achievement, and as always, I'll see you all in the next one.